Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfilms. I'm your host Sarthak and you can also call me Ankur. This is a channel where I talk about the Laravel and the cool thing about the Laravel. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe. So in this episode, we are going to learn about the email or uh, advanced email. In the last episode, we have done something like this. We have created a function in our controller that means mail controller and we created a system to send a email uh, to obviously bitfumes from obviously bitfumes okay and we have used nothing than this we have just created a route okay so before going ahead i want to tell you something that some of you have complained me that my voice quality is not so clear and why i am not coming in front of you so for that i want to say that i am recording my voice with my little mobile phone and i does not have that much quality of camera so that i can come in front of you guys but i am planning to do that also and for those of you who have messaged me on facebook that they want to donate some fun to bitfumes for the better quality of the videos or for creating the quality content on the youtube channel of bitfumes if you want to donate funds i have created the paypal account and the url is paypal.me slash bitfume the detail is also given in the description also so support bitfumes for the better quality and high quality and high quality content for you guys okay so let's get on to the work so in this episode we are going to create a mailable system so how will you create a mailable for that i will go to my command prompt and i will type php artisan make mail and the name of mail let's say send mail okay now it's good hit enter and yep it's created so where is that mail created so you can see inside your app folder there is a mail folder and uh, inside mail folder you will find your send mail file okay here this is a build function and in this build function you will define your mail properties okay so here you can see that the view is given that means the view of the mail that we have created in last episode in the resource views and here is the mail that means this is the actually mail but you can see that this is just a plain text but we want something something uh, uh, html okay so i will just change this i will just create a html5 markup and here i will type let's say h1 and i will say welcome to this mail system okay now we want to send all of these system let's see what happen if we try to send this via our previous method so obviously we have to go to our send route and let's see what happened and now the mail is sent so let's see in our gmail account so you can see this is the gmail and this is our email so you can see here is only text no html rendering has been done so how will we do that so we have created the mailable system this is our mailable so we will delete all these things from here and i will just say here new send mail okay so this is our mailable system so here i will define the view view is mail obviously and to whom i want to send to to bitfumes at gmail.com okay so it's good let's say refresh and it will give me the error because we does not have imported our mailable so i will say app slash mail slash send mail and now it's good to go click refresh you will see there is no error that means the email has been sent confirmed okay now check that email you can see here we have created a h1 tag and that h1 tag is displayed with the proper bold system that means our html part is rendered here okay so you can see how much easy is to control the view of your email actually okay 
and you can see I have only provided the two that means the email whom I want to send and from it is sending it is sending from my it is sending from my account which I have uh, configured in my .env file so let's see now how will we modify it this is actually hard coded I want it to be dynamic so I will create a new file here in the view I will say email dot dot blade dot php and here I will create a markup give margin give a heading send mail and now I will create a form form action will be obviously send method we know post and as we are on level so csrf production csrf field and two let's get the get the email of the person we want to send email so i will get this by typing the input text and this is two and let's say the message okay the message will be for text area and the text area will be have message no id okay that's good and for submitting purpose we require a input button called submit that's good let's give it a value of send okay so we have to connect this with our route so create a route called email and here also email and make it a post request okay so let's check this so before checking we have to create this function in our controller so let's create that function this is email and we will provide a view of email okay and this is not just return the view now let's check so this is our view we have created okay now here i will type the email which i want to send email and here i will type this is new email okay we want to press this send button and we want that email will send okay now we obviously require to catch all these value in our mailable so for that i will go to my send mail and here i will type request and again request and instead of this hard coded thing i will just say request and two okay with this view i will just give it a I will just pass the data so here I will say again request and message and obviously we want to echo this message to our view so where is our view where is here is our view so we want mail system and after that after that my data so now what I want to do here is that obviously we have getting the request but we have not used that request in our mailable so just illuminate http and obviously request now we are good to go so let's go and click this send button and you can see it is loading something is going on that means we have no error and actually our email has been sent correctly so here is our email send mail and you can see welcome to this system and this is message so there is some error because we have created the message which is, which says this is new email but that data is not displaying so let's see what the error is so we will go here and the error is because I have created it a string not a variable so let's try again and click send button so we are getting again an error that error is because we have used the message word that is reserved for the helpers so just change it with msg 
and here also I will say MSG and now when I click refresh and you will see it is loading that means the email is sending so yep the email is has been sent properly so you can check in your gmail account and here is your email so you can see welcome to this email and this is actual message which i have typed in the message box so if you have seen how much easy again it is to send a data to your view the last thing i want to show you i want to connect this email system with our model so obviously we need to import that model so you can say just use app slash user and this model is already provided by the laravel so here is the model and obviously we have to connect our laravel with the database for that we will go to the dot env file and here i will type my database name username will be root and password will be nothing now we are good to go so just for verification go to the database and you can see here in our database we have a data which says name is this email is this okay so let's see how we will do that so we can use that model so i will say user is equal to user and find with id1 so we have obviously find that user and now here i will say instead of this request i will say user and two instead of this two i will say email okay and obviously we want to give the name so let's give it a name we want to welcome that uh, user so i will say user and here is the name so in the view i will just i will change it to name and i will say welcome and the name okay so is that everything is correct let's check user user find to okay we are getting the email we are giving the name and in our controller we does not have to do anything in the route i will just comment this so i will just send the email with this url only so this is okay and now go to the chrome and i will just say send enter and you can see this is giving me because we have not restarted our server so let's just restart it and yep we are good to go click refresh and it is doing something that means we are not getting any error so no error that means email has been sent properly let's check that email and here you can see the name is properly given the to email is properly given obviously from email we have obviously sent in this episode we have covered lot of things we have covered the html creation we have covered the mailable we have covered the requested uh, data we have covered the database data i think this video is very much useful for you to have implementation of the email system in your project so in the next episode i have promised you to show you how to send email on your godaddy server so we will firstly going to upload our project on godaddy and then after we will configure our dot env file to the email system okay so we will meet in the next episode and wait for the next episode till then please don't forget to subscribe you can follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and don't forget to hit like button if you like this episode please comment your problem if you have any problem please don't forget to comment if you have any problem in this episode please comment me message me on facebook twitter and anywhere so that we will get in touch and we will help each other so we will meet in the next episode till then keep coding be happy goodbye